unfortunately. Oh my Jagger's God. just wiped out a large number of guys. That Marine squad is wavering. Okay, so I'm moving my lines up. We're getting ready to engage. Now, my attempt at flanking them on the uh, right hand side just isn't quite going to pan out because he's moving up units from the back. So I'm going to pull back a little bit. I've sent my cavalry forward in a mass charge on these two Marines right here. They don't get any follows off. I destroy the unit, the Marines that are the farthest, closest to the camera. It rides. The other one only do some damage, but I, my objective is to get behind his line, so I just keep on going. And I get behind, uh, get behind his lines, and he can't do anything about it. Very little damage. The fight proper is started now. He has mostly riflemen on his left flank in that square, but that square is just going to get shot to pieces eventually. Now, I noticed his generals alone, and considering the low morale and general of American line infantry, I decided to go after the general, kill him, and then come back. Uh, yeah, the right flank, uh, the enemy's right flank, or rather, my right flank, but yeah, okay, so right here in front of the camera, the enemy is just too strong to flank, so I have to pull back a little bit, but I'm trashing him on the far left flank. Yeah, I noticed him pulling up with a bunch of line infantry reinforcements. Like one line infantry and I think two light dragoons right there. Just, I couldn't handle that, so I pulled back to the forest. And then we're just trading fire in the center here. Although his riflemen aren't going to last very long in such close quarters. His square is just getting picked to pieces, slowly but surely. For some reason, my jaggers sort of wandered a bit too close, so I pulled them back and started shooting again. I've gone in from LA here because I just want to kill off his regiment and start flanking these guys. Unfortunately, they're going to route that one unit of line tree in front of him, and there goes the enemy general. Just in time for me to melee charge his riflemen, so that should eliminate most of them. In fact, I think I'll fight it out all of them. My cavalry come back to do their shock attack on some unfortunate line of dude. He forms in squares. I sort of stop most of my cavalry just in time, but I move up all my infantry in the center to engage. And my other cavalry unit just has to kind of go in between them. Very good micro on my opponent's part as far as squares go, but my guys are right on top of them. Now he's pushing on the right flank. I've retreated my guys to the woods. His light dragoons just got routed by my light infantry, which is kind of funny because I thought they were you know, just going to cut down so I that one. So, he has, I think, two squads of line of tree going towards the woods here, but I have like, a lifeguard and uh, another unit or two. He aborts that attempt, and then I push in on his flanks, or his newly open flank, rather. And I also have a Jagger unit that's shooting them quite a bit. So I notice they've turned around, and I'm going to push my guys out of the woods and start shooting them, because he's sort of flanking my units right there. I pulled them back a bit, and now my guys come out of the woods to get some new flight and fire on them. We're going to have this weird zigzag fight <laughs> going on in a second. Yeah, there's bodies all over the woods over there. Now, his this infantry unit... Okay, never mind about that. Yeah, it lagged a little bit right there. Just let it pass. Okay, so we're back in the fight. I am shooting at some infantry that are advancing. They're going to route this before they ever get to my line. This is basically where the enemy general's death comes into play, because they're already low morale. I think American Indians have six or something like that. My injury, that is. So they just get crushed. My cavalry, they're chasing some guys, but he's formed a V, so I, I pull out because I don't want to get gunned down. But on the other hand, I'm forming my own sort of wider V around his guys, so they're going to get crushed in a second. And my cavalry come in from the rear, trash a few of them. It pays to have cavalry in the rear because when his cavalry are basically gone or absent, it just gives you free reign. Yeah, it's just one unit just entirely destroyed. I mean, it's not gone. It was mostly full health, but it just routes right there. He goes in melee with my cavalry in an attempt to get rid of them. Actually, I think he goes into square, so just... Yeah. So I'm moving up my infantry to support my cavalry again. The same tactic as when I rushed him after disrupting his riflemen. Because when you disrupt his line with cavalry, it gives you a small opportunity, generally, to advance without taking too much fire. Especially when you're having a bunch of skirmishes in front of you. Now, of course, there's a bit of a risk to your cavalry if you don't do it. Right. They could just get gunned down. But we're doing a nice melee with the enemy infantry. I'm going to hammer and anvil limb to some cavalry. 
meanwhile, I'm having some infiltrating fire going on with the enemy right here, but he sees that melee's, melee charges one of my units. Meanwhile, I destroy this guy over here. That square in the background is still going, but I'm just plinking away with some daggers. His light dragoons make a last desperate charge. But they're a bit too weak, and then my lifeguards are right there on their flanks, so it's just not going to play out well for them. I've, you see, this is that zigzag I was talking about. Yeah, he's just walking right down my lines. Once these lifeguards are in place, they're going to get some really nasty volleys off. Because they have a really good accuracy to begin with. And there they go. The Americans just pummeled in the start a mass round. There they go. And there's something like 50 pressure to avoid off these Americans right here. They're about to they're at my do a rear charge hammer and build. It's 50 Americans to 100, 50 pressures to 100 Americans. The Americans just run after them and get hammer and hand build. It just leaves a few units of the enemy infantry, but they're gonna mostly wave and route without actually making contact or well get into melee or something like this. And here's the last unit of the Marines that they should shortly get cut down. That leaves basically one lone rifleman unit. Another unit, of, I think, Marines. Okay, so I've done a little marching. The other enemy unit is routed, and there's my uh, improved line of tree going at them. 30 some odd guys, basically, wavering. And what's funny is both of these two units right here are just gonna route. <laughs> Good game to my opponent. And let's see if I can read his name. Uh, no, I can't. But good game all the same.